Hi everyone, your Pat Rowell here with another vlog. So I just finished watching a movie, so I figured I might as well use this vlog as an opportunity to talk about that. The movie I finished was Pokemon the Movie, Secrets of the Jungle, which is the 23rd Pokemon movie, and as of the time of this vlog being filmed, it's the most recent one. And I'm just gonna preface this by saying the English dub for the movie is not out yet. I watched this movie subbed, even though there are no official subtitles, I'm just gonna say that right now. There's like no official subs, but there are fan subtitles out and I feel that the the fan subtitles for it were pretty, um, pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some inaccuracies considering it's a fan sub, but all things considered, it was, um, it didn't like detract from the experience or anything but um secrets of the jungle japanese name of the movie is coco was a really good pokemon movie now um the last pokemon movie that come out or that came out was not even power of us i was going to say that but it's a uh, mewtwo strikes back evolution which is a remake of the first movie but not counting that um the last Pokemon movie that came out that's not a remake is The Power of Us, and that is my favorite Pokemon movie. Now, uh, Secrets of the Jungle is implied to be in the same continuity as The Power of Us, and that's implied to be in the same continuity as I Choose You, so, like, they're all in its implied continuity, I guess, but, um, those three movies, I feel, have been just really, really good for Pokemon movie standards, and this one, while it's not as good as The Power of Us, it was still really, really enjoyable. It really made me like the Pokemon Zarude, which is a mythical Pokemon from Generation 8, and um, yeah, the storyline was actually pretty decent. The animation was really, really good, and music was actually really good. There's like two main songs. One is a song about Zarude, and then um, the other song is a song about a specific Zarude in the movie, and it's adopted son Coco, because uh, the plot of the movie is um, this Zarude finds a baby and adopts it as its own. It leaves its own pack of Zarude to raise it, and it names the child Coco. And Coco, um, Coco is basically the main character of the movie. It, he's basically a um, a Pokemon version of Tarzan. <laughs> essentially, but um, I, I felt the movie was actually one of the more stronger Pokemon movies out there. I'm not quite sure exactly where I would place it, but it's definitely one of my more favorite recent movies, and it's one I can recommend for those that do like watching the Pokemon anime and the Pokemon movies, so it's definitely, um, it's definitely a solid watch, especially just like, as its own standalone movie. Especially, like, if you are familiar with the Pokemon franchise in any way, like, it's definitely a good way to get started with watching the anime or even just getting into the series in general, I feel. But, um, yeah. Now, one thing that does bother me is that the Pokemon Celebi was heavily marketed for this movie, and it really only shows up at the very end. I guess it's a spoiler, whatever, but, yeah. And... Other than that, I'm not going to really spoil the plot of the movie, but still very, very enjoyable. And whenever the official English dub for it comes out, I'm definitely going to watch it. And I hope it's in theaters because Power of Us and I Choose You were in theaters and watching them in theaters was a really, really fun experience. Mm -hmm. And probably whenever that does happen or whenever... Uh, Secrets of the Forest does get an official English dub. It's probably going to have a tie-in release with um, uh, Zarude's alternate form. Not really an alternate form, it's just an alternate skin for Zarude where... It's basically the Zarude from the movie that raises Coco. It's called um, Dada Zarude because it's Coco's dad. <laughs> but um, they basically put that in Sword and Shield, which I do need for my living Pokedex. So... Yeah, but um, really enjoyable movie, and I don't know when the next Pokemon movie is going to be coming out, but 
I'm really looking forward to that as well, especially if it has the same animation style as this and Power of Us, because it, these two have very similar, like, art styles to them, and I'm definitely looking forward to it, especially if the writing is also as good as it has been with these past few Pokemon movies. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. Now, again, there's, like, no official, like, English sub or anything, so I did watch it fan sub. I'm not gonna link to any sites where you can watch it or anything like that. Just, if you really, really want to look for it, then just search around on the internet. You'll probably find it, but if you do find it and watch it, you'll probably enjoy it if you like Pokemon. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time for another one. Later.